Fight Factory to do a photo shoot for the very first edition of a new magazine called Fighting Fit. Um, I've got a cute little pink outfit on and I'm ready to do some great combat style pictures. Then I'm going to be put through my paces by top fight trainer Darren Chan, so this should be exciting. I'm going to go back there. Back over there. I get to edit. Back over there, will you? Maybe something a bit more smiley or less serious. Yeah, yeah. Keep shooting. Okay. That's a nice angle. I like this one. Yeah, that's what I was going to do. Changes some lighting now. My standing. <laughs> It's nice, it looks yeah, really cute. Yeah, some nice ones, yeah. Some of these are really nice. That's nice. It's cute, oh, that's, that's it's more cheeky, nice. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I like um, I like the softer ones with a little bit of a cheeky smile. Um, a couple of really nicely lit ones where the lower part of my body is in shadow, so the muscles really um, define well, but my face looks sort of more lighter and smiley. So I think we get in there. That's kind of cool. Do you want to change your outfit or do you want to get some of this outfit in the ring? And you're just kind of looking down there. I like the mix, some good options. Yeah, sure. That's cool. Yeah. That's right, that's right. Yeah, that's on. Next we're doing um, a workout. Somebody that wants to do combat training, the conditioning, the warm-up, the pad work, the full experience. My hair back and out of the way. Okay, Darren, right. so you're going to take me through an example of a workout you do with somebody who is, what, new or uh, experienced? Yeah, new, what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and work on a few elements, yeah, someone that's new, uh, yeah. someone that wants to maybe concentrate on like, boxing uh, sort of techniques and some kickboxing as well, some flexibility work, to try and hit on everything so we can sort of give you a little bit of flavour of everything that we do down at the fight page. Okay, you're going to be hard on me? Of course, of course. No, we'll, <laughs> we'll be uh, nice hard, nice right. hard. So, now, yeah. I'm up for a good workout, so here we go. Explosive power, so we might just bounce around all of a sudden, explosiveness. So, doing this is going to work that explosive power. So, 
me here and I'll throw it about just over here. Over yep. here. Okay. But you again, be here. Just so if you miss it, don't worry about it. Okay. This is your gym, um, the Fight Factory. Tell us a little bit about your background in fighting. My background, I uh, started from karate, so uh, I had quite a uh, big background in, in karate. So I started that when I was about four. Wow, um, <laughs> very yeah, young. Yeah, quite young, I'm looking a bit old now. So um, quite a few years doing that. Um, and I started off in sport karate, so it's uh, sort of like semi-contact fighting. Okay. Um, gave my black belt when I was about 15. Um, but a lot of my uncles and that were, were boxers. Um, so whilst doing that, I was boxing a lot as well. Okay. Um, is that usual to mix karate and boxing? No, well, some people do. Some people, some people do. do, but I mean, it, it just so happened that I was lucky enough to have a, have an uncle that owned a gym, okay. and whilst I wasn't doing the karate, I was I was doing the boxing as well, which led me on to uh, uh, getting selected for Great Britain to fight for the same country. What age? That was about 15, 16 years old. Uh, so I compete for the country, and uh, yeah, achieved a couple of British titles, European titles. I came third in the World Championships uh, with with a full contact fight as well. So you've Hopefully. done it in not only karate but in kickboxing, kickboxing as, well. as well. You've achieved yeah, the title. Yeah, that's right. Fantastic. So uh, yeah, you know, I've, I've I've got back on track now. With I'm still competing now for Great Britain with karate, and uh, I'm now I'm now got a, a couple of title fights lined up with the kickboxing as well. So when are they? I've got a title fight uh, end of the year, okay. and so I've got a couple of warm-up fights, and at the end of the yeah. year I've got a title fight. British title fight and then next year hopefully European and then go on from there hopefully a little crack at the world title. So in here we've got children from you know the age of five right the way through to 65, 75. Right. The gym's uh, not just orientated around fighters, um, you know we're trying to get anyone in. Yeah. It's hopefully not getting a buzz from the people achieving their stuff yeah. now, the same sort of way I'm getting a buzz doing my stuff so you know that's definitely the next step but we're, we're going to show promoting as well. So we've done a couple of shows last year we're doing a bit of the white collar stuff now, we had a white yeah. collar boxing yeah. and we're doing quite a few shows with that now so and it's nice doing the promotional side of things as well but still trying to keep myself active with the fighting so it's... But you've done this life. from such a long, a young age yeah, that this is right. your life yeah, basically totally. so yeah, everything yeah. you do is, is based around... Yeah, I'm at home in the gym. So. Well, great, so thanks for having us for the No problem at all. <laughs> oh.